Since we've downloaded and installed the PicPic Social Device Server and the PicPic Social Sharing Station onto our device, we're ready for the next step, which is to actually run the PicPic Social Sharing software on our iPad and connecting to our device server. Before we do that though, we want to double check our settings or our Wi-Fi settings on this iPad and make sure that this iPad is connected to the same network as our PC. So let's open up our settings. In our settings, we'll see that the hotspot we're connected to is called Steven. So this is good. This is the same network that our PC is on. So everything is good. If we're not connected to the same hotspot, you want to make sure that you get both your PC and your iPad or both your workstation and your sharing station on the same network. Once that is set, run PicPic Social on your iPad or on your sharing station. When PicPic Social runs, it's going to start looking for your servers that are on the same network. It's found my workstation over here, so I'll go ahead and press on it so that I can sign in. And we'll put the password that we entered in in the previous video when we were setting up. If you didn't set up a password in the previous video, press sign in without typing in anything. I set my password as 1234, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in with that password. And we'll see that once we're connected, PicPic Social starts to download the photos from the workstation. One thing I want you to be aware of is you'll see that this photo right here says the word draft on it. Because we're in the trial mode, our photos are going to say the word draft. After the first three photos have loaded, you'll see one, two, three. After the third uh, photo has loaded, any photo after that will say the word draft on it while you're in the trial mode. So if you want to remove this draft watermark, you have to publish the event by paying the per event fee, or you have to start a plan with PicPic Social. Let me show you how you can share your photos now that we've got it connected. So in the top right hand corner of each photo, there's a green plus button. So you press on that plus button and then the photo gets added to the selected media tray on the right. So we'll add four, we can add up to four photos at a time. And then from there, we can select the sharing options at the bottom of how we want to share the actual photo. So right now we're going to do an email share. So we'll press email and then we'll agree to the disclaimer that pops up. And I'll put in my email address. And let's say I'm here with a buddy at an event and I want to share the photo with my buddy as well. We can press the add button so that we can add multiple emails at a time. And then we'll press send. And both of those emails have been sent. Now sharing to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is just as easy as it is to email. So again, we'll add the four different items into the sharing tray. And then when you press the Facebook icon, you'll see you're presented with the login screen for your username and password. So your guests have to put in their username and their password in order for PicPic Social to share to their account. But once PicPic Social has shared it to their account, they'll automatically be logged out. That completes our setup video. I think you should be pretty comfortable with using PicPic Social and putting everything together. If you have any particular questions about any steps that we took in this video, please make sure you leave a comment below so that we can answer and address any questions or concerns that you have.